Hello and welcome to All About Home Electronics. So what you see on your screen right now is the Yamaha RXV683. It is a home theater surround sound receiver and we're going to review this receiver. We're going to look at things like Yamaha's Music Cast system. Now Music Cast is a wireless platform that Yamaha has developed which will allow a consumer of their product to add wireless speakers to other areas of their home, connect them to their home Wi-Fi, and listen to any host of audio sources, be it from your smartphone, through this receiver itself, uh, other sources uh, that are network platform based. But we're going to dig into that. We're also going to unbox the contents of this package so you see what comes with the RXV683. We're going to go over the front panel so you understand the features that are built into it. We're going to switch it around, take a look at the back panel, the Wi-Fi connectivity, and then touch on some other highlights. Stay tuned. We're going to get started right after this. Okay, so a quick look at what comes inside the box. Of course, you get the actual RXV683 uh, Yamaha receiver. Now, they've included a quick start guide, a printed version, and they've included the full owner's manual on CD disk. Now, if you want, you can go to their website. It's super easy. You can download the full owner's manual on this unit. We've already checked it out there. They have a little bit of other paperwork included, some advertising on their network streaming uh, platforms they offer, registration for your warranty for the unit you're going to want to do that by the way now yamaha includes an optimization mic that now that's not the term they use that we just gave it that term but basically once you set your surround sound speakers up you plug this in you go into the setup of the speakers and it's going to optimize each speaker based on the size and certain characteristics of your room and they include am and fm antennas as well uh, the power cords already connected to the unit now they have a very robust remote control but keep in mind, if you didn't know this, you can download the Yamaha application on your iOS or Android smartphone, and you can control much of the function ability of this unit right from your smartphone as well. And of course, the remote came with two batteries. Now in the back, top center, slight to the right of your video screen, you'll see the uh, internet, the network antenna, and that's for connecting to your existing Wi-Fi router, which if you don't happen to have that and you have a hardwired ethernet you can connect it there as well we decided to take a look at the back panel first now we're not going to go over every single connection point and every single feature we're going to touch on some of the main points like for example what can this unit actually do in general well you can see from the top row here there are quite a number of HDMI inputs we will describe those in a little bit greater detail because this does uh, process a 4k television signal and some of the viewers are going to have some questions in relation to that hang tight we're going to go over that in a little bit more detail but as you can see there's a whole host of connectivity here on the back now the HDMI does support ARC which is the audio return channel if you have an ARC TV you probably know what this is if you don't have an ARC TV basically what it means is by connecting the television which is ARC compatible to this receiver it'll send both the video and the audio signal over one HDMI connection now just want to let you know ARC is being faded out a little bit uh, so if you don't have it and aren't familiar with it don't worry about it too much now the black antenna that's in the top center of your screen right here uh, this has built-in wireless so it will connect to your existing Wi-Fi router through the built-in wireless connectivity and if you don't have a wireless router, this unit has a built-in feature that allows for what they call like a wireless direct connection to, to a phone. And we're not going to go into that too much. We've tested it. It worked fantastic. you got to trust us on that. Now, there are a couple of ways you can control this. Of course, the main control way is to use the remote control that comes in with the RX683. Um, there are a lot of buttons on there. It gives you full control of the unit. We're not going to go over all those buttons. You have the option to control the unit through the front panel, which we're going to take a look at after we finish the back panel. You can also put an application that Yamaha designed called AV Controller on your iOS or Android device. 
and that'll give you pretty good control of the machine as well. One more thing before we move on, a lot of people post questions about making connections to their gear, their equipment, and the back of a home theater receiver. So what Yamaha has done is they've come up with an application called AV Setup Guide. You can find it on the App Store or Google Play, and it's designed really to be on a tablet, um, but maybe you can try it on your mobile device. We have not tried that on a mobile device. And what it's going to do is help you, it's going to help you uh, connect your equipment, uh, and it's going to help you make the wiring connections for your speakers as well. Now, this is a music cast enabled uh, receiver from Yamaha. That's their wireless platform where you can send. What's cool with music cast is this. Look, everybody knows Yamaha puts out really terrific musical instruments and uh, AV gear like this right here. They're experts at the sound system. And so with music cast, even if you have a music cast enabled Yamaha Grand Piano, you can connect it with this system or with the music cast wireless speaker system all through your wireless network. That's pretty cool. We'll go into that in a different video. Um, so let's dive into these connections. So we're going to start here with the trigger jack. Now it's uh, designed to connect to a device that supports the trigger function. Here you've got remote in and out jacks. So if this unit is behind a, a cabinet door and you want to be able to control other devices, you can use an IR uh, emitter wire connected here to connect to the IR emitter window on that device. Um, so they have some audio inputs here. These are Toslink. These are digital, digital Toslink audio inputs. You could connect something like a CD player uh, or other device having this audio uh, connectivity. There are some, there's one coaxial a digital audio input right here. Same, it's very similar to these toss links in that it'll carry a digital audio signal. So the methodology is just a little bit different, but it has that connectivity option. You've got the uh, FM antenna connection, which they supplied the FM antenna in the box. The AM antenna connection, which they supplied the AM antenna inside the box. If you have a little bit of an older device uh, that has only a component video output, you can connect that here as well and use the uh, coaxial audio input. And you can probably assign other audio inputs to this component video. The capabilities of this unit, it's pretty widespread and phenomenal. They have a, a phono red-white uh, stereo connector here, and then two more red-white audio input connectors here. And even if you have uh, a far older uh, video audio connection device, you could put it right here using these composite connectors, yellow being the video and red, white, again, being the audio. The one thing that I like about this particular unit, if you have a separate zone, a separate zone means that you have speakers in other rooms and those speakers are powered through an amplifier, you can send most, probably not all, but most, ma many audio signals out of this zone too into that amplifier and send it to the other rooms. So if you have speakers on your back deck, and we're gonna post a link on this video to show you how to do this. We know a lot of homes uh, throughout the world have wires for speakers and they have speakers, but they don't know how to connect them. And we're gonna show you how to use this to connect them. Um, so that's great, zone two out. Many home theater systems don't have a zone two out unless you get a unit like this one. Now you can connect up to two different uh, subwoofers to this unit, uh, powered subwoofers, they can't be passive subwoofers. And then of course all the speaker connectivity that you have here, including they have a powered zone 2 out, which um, if you want to directly power some other speakers in another room, you can do that as well, but you'd have to go into programming and assign the amplification and, and things like that, but it is capable. I didn't mention earlier that there's also an ethernet network jack. So if you didn't have a wireless router uh, or if you're out of your wireless range for some silly reason, you can connect a ethernet uh, cable right here and still have the network connectivity. I mentioned earlier that I was going to go into the 4K. Now on the back of this unit, it has three, a total of five HDMI inputs. However, three of them 
Oh, well, I shouldn't say only three. Three is a lot. Three of them support 4K, which is HDCP 2.2. So if you're getting a 4K TV, or you have a 4K TV, or if you want to build a 4K uh, television system, this unit will support it via one of these three HDMI inputs. You can put older HDMI devices right through here. So the bottom line is if you want 4K, everything you use has to be 4K compatible. Your TV, get a high quality HDMI wire, your receiver like this one, if it's a Blu-ray player and you want it to be 4K, well, it's gonna say it on the packaging but it'll only go in these three HDMI inputs right here. We're gonna go over the front panel a little bit, but just to highlight the wireless capabilities of this uh, 683 unit, it built in Wi-Fi so you can connect to your Wi-Fi router. If you don't have that, the built-in Wi-Fi can connect to your mobile device directly. It does have built-in Bluetooth and it does have the wireless uh, Yamaha Music Cast system. Now, in terms of music streaming, already built into the unit, you can access your Pandora account, Napster, Sirius XM, Juke, a handful of others, including Spotify, and it has built-in AirPlay as well, which actually, that makes connecting this to your Wi-Fi network super easy if you're an Apple person. Now, a couple of the inputs that are on the front, a headphone jack, a USB port, which you can listen to some of your audio that you've got on a thumb drive, there's an HDMI input on the front, and there's also a, a stereo jack for an audio device. As well, uh, Yamaha has four scene switches built into the front. So if you are someone who likes to listen to your sporting events in a certain mode, you would set up a scene for that. Movies, you can set up a scene for that. Uh, television news programs, you can set up a scene for that. Now, you don't have to use the scene button. It just makes it really easy if you set those up. The other thing is, if you look in the description of this video, we're going to post two things. The video formats that this unit will support and the various audio surround sound uh, formats that this unit will report. Hey, we appreciate you stopping by and checking out our review on the Yamaha RXV 683 Please give the video a thumbs up. We hope you have a great day.